uh, the guy who um, branded himself this time as Twitterson. It was on his trunks. So Shakur Stevenson, he had a fight just this past weekend. He got in there with, um, why is it slipping my mind right now? He got in there with Artem Hartunian. Yes. Right? Sorry, it's just a bit difficult for me to pronounce. Um, so he got in there with Artem Hartunian. Um, it went the distance. Shakur won. Clear unanimous decision. But throughout the fight, like the performance, I didn't really have an issue with the performance. You know what I mean? But what I had an issue with is I think Shakur was trying to still overcompensate for that last fight. It was he was after the fourth round. Oh, I'm gonna stop him. I'm gonna stop him. I'm gonna stop him to the point where he was in the corner. And this is what really was annoying to me. He was in the corner and he just would not take the advice from the trainer. Like, I get it. Trainers are not fighting the fight, but they're seeing the things that you're not seeing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Every single round, he was just arguing with his trainer. I'm just like, bro, just just listen. Just listen to what he's telling you because some of it makes a lot of sense. You know what I mean? So just tell me what you thought about Shakur's performance. I mean, I think Shakur's performance is Shakur's performance. Um, He's a fighter that is a master of distance. He doesn't want to get hit. So he kind of still got that. Um, I don't want to call him an amateur, but like, you know, when you in and out, you throw punches, get it, you know, expect the punch coming in and kind of just reach out and get that distance. Um, I would say he's lackluster to a degree. And from my personal opinion, I didn't expect him to, of course, stop the guy, even though he claimed he was going to stop him. I didn't, you know, I knew he was going to stop Arthur, uh, but I expected it to be more uh, domination. Right. Um, I want to say looking like Shakur prior to uh De La Santos, pre De La Santos, Shakur, like, like the Yoshino fight, maybe right and Yoshino, right? Um, previous fights like that, but we didn't get that necessarily. So I don't know where that leaves him because it's also tough too, because I think his uh contract is up with top rank. Mm-hmm. So he's kind of like in a you know tough spot right now, you know, with yeah. his ability to sell, and then of course, I think the issue now is people in their minds, especially social media, especially with the, after Del Santos fight, people as well as top rank themselves as well. Clearly, as you, you know, you, you, we've both seen it right with the camera paneling to people leaving the arena. I think people is not buying into the Shakur Stevenson show. And I think people is now having this perceived notion that Shakur Stevenson is a boring fighter. And even though he's, he may not be, but just the fact that people have that perceived, preconceived notion going into a fight i think it's going to affect his ability to sell in the future yeah and they also booed him in north too that's his hometown yeah, that's they, they they booed him earlier you know and then what i'm tired of is i'm tired of guys going to the oh but floyd but floyd, i don't care about floyd don't tell me anything about floyd i don't care <laughs> you know what i'm saying different, time, like, different era you different know? caliber fighter you know, it's always Floyd. Floyd, Floyd was hitting. Don't get it. Floyd didn't do it in this. It looked different. Yes, Shakur is a master of distance, but when you close, he's also getting out of there. I, a lot of times, Floyd hangs right in there in that Philly shell and makes you. You in know what I'm saying? Catches. Oh, 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 you know what yeah. I mean? So don't tell me about Floyd. I don't want to hear about Floyd. I just want to hear about you. But like I said, there was times where you know Shakur obviously started slowing Hartunian down to the body, right? Right. And then you know he started landing a bit more. But it seems like he's still hesitant to take any return fire. And granted, that's not the name of the game is to get hit back. But sometimes you have to stand in there just to deliver. You know what I mean? And Artem didn't really seem like he had anything that was going to hurt Shakur. You know, Shakur kept saying, you know, he's running, he's running. But I think he was in there long enough in many different spurts for Shakur to do what he needed to do. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, like I said, I'm completely fine. It's not all about the stoppage. But I think Shakur is levels above Artem Hertunian, and if he would have just fought his fight and stopped trying to overcompensate and try to prove everyone wrong, he possibly could have got the stoppage, but he wanted to prove it so bad that, oh, I'm not a runner. Oh, I can stop people. That now you end up not doing it, and it looks worse on the back end. Yeah, and I think his words didn't necessarily fully match up to his actions as well. Sometimes, Mm. you know, if you want to stop a guy, you walk him down, you you probably gonna have to take one to give one. At yeah. times, you know, and it's funny too because Artem's performance wasn't that far different from how he performed against Frank Martin, right? So it's kind of like, and I believe Shakur Stevenson's better than Frank Martin, you mm-hmm. know, um, levels. And it's funny because the way he talked about Frank Martin and Artem, 
you would have thought he was going to come in and show Frank Martin how to get it really done. Like just, of course, Frank Martin struggled more than Shakur did, obviously, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like light years between the two performances. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I'll tell you this. Yes, I, I, I agree with you. I think Shakur is better than Frank Martin. And I think Shakur would beat Frank Martin. I don't think he would stop Frank Martin. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think it would be a closer fight than this. And I think there will be a lot of lateral movement. But the guy who I think can really shake everything up and possibly mess everything up is Isaac Pitbull Cruz. Yeah. Right? And I can see that. I can see that. The the reason being is early in that fight, Hart, Artem Hartuni, you know, he, he had Shakur in the corner several different times. He couldn't really land anything significant. But Pitbull is tight. He's going to go to the body. He's probably going to – he's willing to take one to give one. You know yeah. what I mean? But – that pressure becomes exhausting. If you see in the Keyshawn Davis fight earlier on the card, man, Keyshawn got tired because the, the guy he was fighting, I forgot his name right now. He was eating everything. Yeah, like he kept taking the punches, but he kept coming, he kept coming. Like, you know, then the fight just started getting real dirty and ugly, but Keyshawn was like tired, and that's mentally exhausting, you know? So it's not always just the physical exhaustion. It's the yeah. mental, like, man. I can't get a second. This guy's just in my faith. You know? And that's what Isaac Pitbull Cruz is going to bring. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's going to like mentally wear you down. He's going to hit you by, you know, he's going to just throw those haymakers. You know what I'm saying? And some of them are going to connect. So I think that'd be a tough fight for Shakur. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying Shakur can't win it because it just offer just pure skill. I think Shakur probably has more in the toolbox, but Pitbull's defense is very tight. And he punching. Very good chin, and he's cracking. Yeah, <laughs> he's punching. Cracking. And, he, yo, those be the archetypes to upset great fighters. Those, those be the ones. You know, what I'm those and, fighters. you know, and Pitbull in his own right is a great fighter. And he's, had, and he's fought on a bigger scale than Shakur ever has, right? Fighting yep. against Javante Davis, you know, feeling how it in a high-pressured fight like that. You know what I'm saying? So that gives him some familiarity there. You know, yeah. so I think that's the guy who can really throw a wrench and everything. Um, because if Javante unifies with Lomachenko, as we think may happen, right? So those two guys are, you know, off limits. There's another champion, of course, um, the other gentleman from the Ukraine at 135. But, you know, will they let Pitbull, you know, be like a dual champion? You know what I'm saying? It's very possible. Very, very possible. You know what I'm saying? The w WBC probably, I, I would see them probably having a good relationship with Pitbull. You know what I'm saying? He's the best undercard in boxing. You know, if Pitbull's on the undercard, like it's going to be exciting, even though Abdullah Mason's trying to stake that claim as one of the best, you know, undercards in boxing. But, yeah. But, you know, back to Shakur, you know, just the complaining. And then after the fight, he didn't, and I want to make this clear, it didn't sound like he was making it as an excuse. But when they were taking his gloves off, he was like saying, like he he like said he had pain like in both hands or something like that. So you know he spoke about his hands being hurt again. I know last fight he said he only had one arm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But what do you think? You think he's starting to have that? Um, because you know Floyd started having that issue with his hands breaking his hands and having brittle hands. Yeah, I think uh, Shakur's either potentially making that excuse or he's potentially succumbing to brittle hands. And that might be affecting him as a fighter. Do you think that's a possibility or no? Oof. I hope not. But no, I don't I don't think that's what that's what it is. I don't know what it is, but I I, I don't want to say it's an excuse, but I just feel like yeah, he, he's like giving us stuff just for us to say, yo, it's okay, Shakur. It's okay. <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, I, I can see that because he, he's always on Twitter, he's always reading the comments, he'd be arguing with different folks. So I think it's it's getting to him. And yeah, you know, it's getting to him. But that's going to be the tough part, yo, because it's getting to him mentally. Like I said, you're worried too much about trying to prove everyone wrong. Right. You know what I mean? But, like, you're trying to prove them wrong, but at the same time, you say, look at me proving you wrong versus just be like, ah, right, you know what? It's, it's like it's different than having a chip on your shoulder. It's like, yeah. like it's messing with his ego, like, you know, it's mentally. So, and I think, like I said, mental exhaustion in some of these fights and some of these high pressure situations, you want to go in there and fight a Lomachenko. You want to go in there and fight a Javante Davis. Like it's going to be a lot of mental warfare in those fights as well. And if you're just worried about, Oh, I don't want to look like this or that, you know, 
Now, now you're distracted, and then next thing you know, waking up to a backflip. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, uh, Jay, I'm not letting that one go, man. That is what is gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm crying. That's funny. That's yeah, funny. but not nah, all jokes aside. And then I, I keep saying all jokes aside and make jokes, but um, nah, like let's talk about Devin Haney for a quick, quick, quick second, right? Because these two guys who kind of end up synonymous, Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson. The thing I say about Devin, though, it right is his. He's not necessarily going to knock you out, but I do think there's more action there, right? There's more output. He's at least trying to hit you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so even though knockouts aren't coming, I like the effort being put forward, and I thought that's what Shakur was lacking last night. And then, you know, um, what's his grandfather and trainer name? Is it Wally Moses? Wally or Moses, yeah. He, you know, he was just telling him, like, yo, yo, more activity, fight behind the jab, come over the top, you know, and she was just like, yo, nah, but, it, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, like you said, like, you got to sometimes gotta be willing to stand in there like, yo, I see that I'm hurting this guy, right? All right, I'm, I'm walking him down. Yo, I, he hasn't been able to hurt me with anything. Even the one punch can always change a fight. Yo, let me keep doing this. Let me up the rate and, you know, just show this guy the difference between him and I. But I do think there's a big hesitancy in what will come back? I think he's. I think he's always in his mind. You know what will come back. He's a little nervous about that. You know what I mean? Yeah, and not you know taking those punches. But yeah, I, I I agree. I agree. Hopefully, of course, he goes to the drawing board. Um, figure something out. You know whether he goes independent and starts to collaborate with some of the um, networks for a couple fights until he gets signed with one of the uh, major promoters, or he may get a deal. Who knows? Um, but. We have to just wait and see. Um, and hopefully, of course, he get that Javante Ting Davis fight, right? That he's been wanting. Yeah. I have an extremely weird feeling. He might try to stay independent, but I have an extremely weird feeling that he may just end up with a promotional company that's not the same promotional company as Javante's. And yeah. then we're still going to have some difficulties with that fight. Just just something that I feel may happen. You know what I mean? But nevertheless, jump in the comment section. Tell us how you felt about that Shakur fight. Um you know, were you impressed? Were you disappointed? Do you think Top Rank went too far showing the actual people leaving the stadium? Granted, like, you know, we're both from New York, right? So I get it. I know, yo, it's traffic. The worst traffic to me is from Jersey to New York, New York to Jersey. You know what I'm saying? So maybe people are just like, yo, got to beat this traffic. But in a boxing fight, that means you had no hope that anything exciting was going to happen. That you're just like, yo, to make my day, I got to leave early and beat traffic, not watch this fight. You know what I mean? So, man, just tell us what you think about Shakur right now. It's obviously a fabulous fighter, but what do you see going forth with maybe him versus Loma, him versus Tank? Jump in the comment section. Make sure you like and subscribe. Two cents short of a dollar. Much more videos to come soon.